Christ came for the chosen, who was the chosen? The Israelites. That's right. God is your God and nobody else. That's right. That's right. You understand? Bring it out. I'm going to show you the Bible say that. And then I'm going to show you why we in the condition that we're in and what we must do to get out of this condition. God chose you to be above every nation on the planet Earth. Did you know that? Watch this. I'm going to show you exactly what God said, okay? So, you understand the difference between above and, and, and below, right? You understand, right? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. But thou art in holy people. Now, God is talking about the children of Israel, okay? The children of Israel are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The people that went through this type of stuff. Now, I'm pretty sure they're not going to teach you this in school because they stopped teaching this a long time ago. They're not going to tell you all of this stuff. But the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the only people who ever went through stuff like this. You ever seen stuff like this before? They ever showed you things like this before? In school, yeah. yeah. So who they said these people were? right so God said that those people that will go through this type of slavery are the children of Israel so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans are holy that means you're separate God separated you from other nations okay read on the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself so God chose you to be special you know what it means to be special child? You ever had like more than one thing? What's going on, bro? How you doing? What's your name? Gary. Say it again. Gary. 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 I'm be like you. Nice to meet you. Y'all doing something? Yeah. Not cool. Okay. So I was telling Charles that so-called Black Spanish Native Americans are the greatest people ever walked the planet Earth. Right? Yeah. You look shocked when you heard that. You never heard that before? It's cool. We gonna learn today. All right? So, so-called black Spanish and Native Americans, all the people went through this. God said that they're, they're special unto him. What does it mean to be special? What's special to me? Like you said, you said it's at a higher value or something like that, right? Right. So that's like, say say you had more than one pair of shoes, right? One of them was your play shoes, but the other one is a little more special, right? So you wouldn't do certain things with the ones that you hold a, a greater value to that you would do with your play shoes, right? Like, like for instance, they say, I know when I was coming up, my mama said, you got school shoes and you got play shoes. The school shoes, those were special ones. They may have cost a little bit more, a little bit nicer, right? So this is the same thing with God saying about you. He's saying about you. He's saying about you too, right? Read on. Have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So, y'all pretty decent with math? I understand math? That's your favorite subject. That's my favorite subject too. That's good. That's good. So in math, you got less than, greater than, and equal to, right? So above would be, would that be greater than or less than? Greater than, right? So it wouldn't be the same as equal to? Well, is above maybe, the same as equal maybe to? Maybe sometimes because they might have the same value. Right, well, you said, if you, all right, remember what you said. You said above is the same thing as greater than, right? Greater than and equal to is two different things, right? So if God's saying that you are above all other nations, no. are you equal to the rest of the nations? No. Right. So what is God saying? You're above, right? You're greater right. than all the other nations on the planet Earth. That's right. Don't ever let nobody tell you different. You right. understand? Because God said you're not black. You understand that? You're not black. You're an Israelite. Would right. your father be a so-called black man? 
What's your father? Right. He's an Israelite. That's, that's, right. that's, that's right. right. Which means that you are what? An Israelite. That's, that's right. right. That's right. So don't ever let nobody call you black. Don't let them call you anything other than that. You understand? So, what? how much stuff have you learned? You learned about Christ, right? Did you learn about Christ? What Christ looked like? Do they teach you what, what Jesus looks like? No. They say he looked like this? This one? That, that's what they say? That's a zombie. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what the Bible says he looked like. That's bring it out. Read what you got. Revelation chapter 1. Verse 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ. So the revelation, the root word in revelation means the, to reveal. So this is a revealing of Jesus Christ, what he looks like, okay? How you say? G Gary. 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 Okay, yeah, I was right. I, I didn't want to mess it up. Gary. Pay attention, Gary. Watch what he say. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Things which must shortly come to pass. Okay, so he's telling him to 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 write down what Christ looks like so that you can show it to the people in the future, basically, what he's saying, okay? Now jump to verse 14. Verse 14! Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it's saying that Christ's head and the hairs was white like wool. Does this hair look white? Does it? Does it? Brown. It looks brown. That's two different brown. colors, right? Yes. So, do you know what woolly texture is? Yes. The texture of wool. Like you ever had a wool sheep, sweater? Sheep. Yeah, like, like a sheep, sheep right? Like a sheep's hair, right? So, does his hair look like a sheep's hair? No. You right. It looked like a dog's fur. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. That's exactly what it looked like. So, that's already one strike against that, right? Because if the Bible said that Christ's hair is woolly texture and, he, and, it, and it's white, that looks nothing like that. Right. Right? Read on. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So it's saying the white part of his eyes look like red fire. Does the white part of his eyes look like red fire? Like, they white. Right, right. The other part of the, this is another, I don't know the term, but it's another part that's outside of the pupil. I, don't, I ain't going to get in there. But the, yeah, the cor cornea. Cornea, right, the cornea. So that part is actually blue, but that's not what it's talking about. It's saying the white part of his eyes look red. But does that look like that? No, it doesn't. It's white. That's a good question. I'm going to answer that too, all right? Let me finish telling you what he looked like according to the scriptures, okay? Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. That's because Christ drunk wine in moderation, right? Keep reading. And his feet like unto fine brass. So the color of the tops of his feet look like fine brass. Did you ever seen the color brass before? Yes. Know what brass look like? What's brass look like? Yeah, it's like a brownish color. So it's saying that the, the color of his feet is a brownish color. Uh, Gary, okay, I did it right that time. If I was to look at the top of your feet, is it pretty much the same as your leg? Yeah. Yeah, yes, about sir. the same color, right? And your arm is about the same color as your leg, right? Yes, so it's your face, right? Yes, sir. Right. So if Christ's color was a brownish color, is that a brown color? No, that, that's not brown. Or like a reddish pink or something, right? 
Now let's see how brown Christ was. As if they burned in a furnace. So his the color of his feet looked like as if they burned in a furnace. You ever had toast before? Yeah. Your parents ever accidentally burned the toast? What color? What color that toast get? Black. It get black as a mug, right? So it's saying that Christ looked like a very dark skinned man. Is that is that the same color? No. So which picture looks more like what Christ looked like? Guess what? If you look in the mirror, you look more like Christ than that. That's right! You understand? Now you ask the question, you said, why did they change the image? Right? That's what you said? to stop you from doing stuff. You understand? That's what? what makes them racist. But guess what? God races. You know that? I'm gonna tell you why God's racist. Because he chose one nation to be above every other nation. That's right. right. What nation did he choose? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, who was who? Who are they? Israel. Right, the children of Israel. The Israel. Right. Like, That's right. God chose you to be above every other nation. Right. right. And see, you think about this. If you knew that Christ looked like that, right, would you automatically think that the so-called white man is better than you? No. Because you'll be thinking about, man, what you talking about, bro? Christ is black. Who the heck are you? If you knew Christ is black, wouldn't you look at him a lot different? Right. Because you would start to see Christ in him. You know what? You look like Christ. I, I can't do that. You're my brother. I still play like Christ. I can't treat you that way. Right. Right. I can't fight you. Right. I can't fight you. I, I, I shouldn't be one to steal from you. You understand? This is why they changed the, the way he looked. So that you will think less of yourself. So that you would be okay with calling yourself a nigga or calling someone else the same thing. Do you think it's okay to call a, him an N-word? No. You shouldn't. Because Christ himself said that you are greater than every other people on the planet Earth. Right! Bring it out! Christ only died for you. Do they teach you that in their church? Yeah, he got nailed to a cross, but who he did that for? Did he do that for everybody? You sure? No, he didn't do that for everybody. The nation that he chose. Let's find out who that nation was that he, that, that was chosen. Bring it out! Oh. Come on. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 1 Bro. That now here, O Jacob my servant O Jacob my servant Jacob name was changed to Israel Okay So this is who he's talking about Read on And Israel who? Israel His name was changed to Israel The descendants of him Come on Who I have chosen Whom he have chosen So who did he chose? You doggone that's, That's right. right. He chose us. So Christ came for the chosen. Who is the chosen? The Israelites. That's right. God is your God and nobody else. That's right. right. You understand? Bring it out. I'm going to show you the Bible say that. And then I'm going to show you why we in the condition that we're in and what we must do to get out of this condition. Bring it out. Because guess what? Y'all the next generation. It's going to be y'all doing this when we old. You understand? Read. Joel chapter 2 verse 27 Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel So God is in the midst of Israel He is within Israel And that I am the Lord your God And none else He's 
your God and who else? And none else! And nobody else. So he's not the God of everybody. God is a racist. Yes. He chose you and you to be above every other nation on the planet Earth. Right. So why are we in the condition that we in? Real simple. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Make it quick. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The word hearken means to listen, to observe, to do carefully, okay? So he said, if you do not listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do all of his commandments, right? All is a, is a subtotal. So that means you can't do partial parts of it, right? Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So as a nation of people, we did not keep God's commandments. So certain curses came upon us. When you read through it, he say certain things like our children would be taken from us and put into captivity. He said that we would have yokes of iron put upon our neck, that we would be sold on slave ships. You understand? That we would, matter of fact, give me 48 real quick. Watch this. Because remember you said, it's a bus that come out here and teach our children about Christ, right? What do those people look like that come out and do that? The people that, are they so-called black people that come out and do that? Oh, right. watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So because we didn't want to serve God, he said we was going to serve our enemies. What's up, little man? How you doing? What's your name? Jamari? Nice to meet you. Read on. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. So the Lord sent our enemies against us for us to serve them for not serving him. Read on. In hunger. For food. And in thirst. For uh, water. Drink something to drink. Read. And in nakedness. For clothing. Read. And in want of all things. And in lack of all things. We lack the understanding of who Christ is. A lot of us want to know. Guess who been trying to teach us? The so-called white man. That's why we think that that's Christ. But the Bible says he's a total different, he looks totally different. It's a total different being. You understand? We go to him for education. That's who teach our children. But we have to stop that. We have to come back and keep God's commandments. What you are starting to do is bethink yourself. Starting to remember who you are. As you do these things, you turn away from your sins, these are the things that you're supposed to do. Like you're not supposed to go to church on Sunday, you know that? You're supposed to gather on, on the Sabbath day, which is the seventh day. You understand that? I'm going to show you this last thing, okay? Bring it up. Deuteronomy 20 and 8. Show you this last thing right quick. Watch this. So this is something you can start to do. Something you can take back to your family. Guess what? Where the Malachi at? He come all the time. See if you if your family don't mind you coming. See if, if they don't want to go, see if you can start to come without them for a second. And maybe they'll see you doing something better and it may cause them to want to do the same. Right. You understand? Watch this. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Bro. Remember the Sabbath day. So he's telling you to remember the Sabbath day. Why? Because as a nation of, of people, we forgot when the Lord ordained for us to come together. We forgot who we were. That's why we was calling ourselves Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Watch this. To keep it holy. Keep it separate. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Six days you do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Which day of the week is the seventh day? Saturday. Saturday. This is the Sabbath of God. Breaking news tonight. There has been a staggering number of black and Latino A 12 year old black boy was shot and area. killed outside. A young black a woman was arrested for a traffic police. violation. A black was man found was shot and killed in the car. Just With three days after the, the police had placed her. The aftermath was aired film. live on Facebook. 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 Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up, Israel. Wake up.
Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.